Good morning and welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by and of course you got here just in time. That's right, it's Friday and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. Got doing a little little house doing a little catching up and cleaning up with this i've got some products that due to time allowances on some of my on my friday signs i try to keep it at about 20 minutes i've had some product videos kind of taking up more time than they should so i have some stuff that hasn't made it into friday's finds that i think you'll enjoy uh, so i've got a couple of those and a couple pro a project that i've been putting together for an upcoming journey that we're taking but we're gonna we're gonna kick this off with a, a product that i'm just i can't believe i didn't do this I, I really wish i'd have bought this sooner before we get into this episode of friday's finds click the howdy button tell me why you watch these silly videos i make uh, i found we found ourselves in need of some we were on a really unlevel site you know and the treaty's doors like right in the middle and so if we're high on either end but especially on the back if the back end is up then the step gets really high now i travel with a little you'll see i've got a platform built up here because we're we're here at tranquility base for now but we're going to be going on the road here in the near future and as i was saying i always travel with an extra step but we found ourselves in a campsite where the that step was not nearly enough we were almost two we were about two feet off the ground i mean it was way up it was cleburne state park if y'all remember a couple weeks back uh, it was i didn't feel safe walking out the the door and so i, I did a, a I bought this thing. We're liking it now. Let me pull it out and show because I've replaced two items with this one thing. So I'm now, I'm now, yeah, better equipped. Let's take a look. This, this is the new camp table, the cooking table. Well, we replaced the table with it anyway. It's technically not a cooking table. It's a work platform. It's a scaffold by Werner. Now, this is just why I didn't buy one of these sooner. I don't know. So that, that turned out to be the perfect step adjustment. So we had a little porch coming out on a real dangerous campsite. Uh, and, I, and I really was impressed with it enough that I got to think, well, how can I use, carry this all the time? Well, it'll fit in this bay, but I had the table that I was carrying. You know, the fold-up table? It, I've been rolling with that fold-up table for over a decade and it was starting to fall apart so it was time for a new cooking table anyway but this platform works so well and you'll see it in this video where i'm working on on the f-150 i'm thinking about getting a second one i like it so much and it works it helps you know when i'm changing the oil or working under the hood on trudy i've got a platform i can stand on i don't have to carry the, the i have a truck a wheel step that i was carrying so i don't have to carry that anymore so let me set this up for cooking because it, it's the perfect table but I got enough space for two grills. So 
so now I have a cooking table. I have a work platform. I have a, a more adjustable step for when we need it there. I can, I can set up on a, on a platform or on a real steep slope site. You know, sometimes you get those sites where you're like right on the edge of the, the pad and yeah. So that is such a handy thing. I'm glad I have it, and I know you will be too. I love my my Werner Wiener Wienerer Pro platform, whatever it's called. Uh, you got to have one of these. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, we're gonna kick it off with working on the truck. Zeno Green sent us a box. Let's check it out. Let's see what they sent us. Zeno Green. I don't know, no, probably no Z in there. Gotta have a knife. They sent us a cool one. This is gonna be fun. And most handy. We are coming up on, summer's almost over. Days are getting shorter. We're gonna be needing this. Check this out. This is awesome. Ah. Ah. Look at this. It's actually a light. Look at it. It has magnets and it has a clamp. So no matter what your situation is, you are prepared. This is actually, they call it a grill light. So let's go, let, let's set up a grill. Gotta have some power. I have some triple A batteries. So I want to carry start carrying some extra gear on the top of my truck. And to do that, I'm gonna mount the the so a new ladder rack on the top of the topper, which means I've got to drill holes. But I have this fold up kayak. I know it looks like a mess out here because I've been opening boxes. But anyway, I want to carry that up there as well. That's a kayak. So I need a basket. And that's what's in here. So we're gonna we're gonna unbox this basket from forward and then I'll show you what it looks like after we have it installed very well packaged all oh, the hardware I was expecting a really long box.
we're assembled. So you, it comes with nuts and screws for these two plates, and then these knobs attach the whole assembly to the crossbars. So now I gotta put my crossbars on. To do that, I gotta drill some holes in the topper. Make sure I get it set up right. I'm gonna mock it all up, mark where my holes need to be drilled, and we'll go from there. The rack is installed. The ladder brackets are not the way they show in the picture. Now the instructions are like real vague. There's, there's no, they don't show you how to use your tie down points. But I reckon that since it's got this loop, you just slide it over the thing. I don't know. I, I'm not using it to transport a ladder anyway. At some point, there'll probably be a kayak rack on that side. We're gonna put the bas a basket on that side. But the rack, pretty straightforward install. And it's, it's sturdy enough my topper has a, a sheet of plywood, three quarter inch plywood up here. So it's, it's a really solid surface. I did have some issues getting the holes exactly where I wanted them. Uh, before I drilled any holes, I waited for the, the rack to show up so that I would have them where I, I needed them to be. Because originally I was gonna have them as wide up as far forward and as far rear as I could go until I got that rack in today and realized, ooh, I need to come in. But I think this is a great investment for $100. Now I can strap something onto the roof of my truck. Maybe I need two more, but I'd have to drill a hole because there's no mount points up there. I gotta go put my rack on. YXL Electronics wants to get in on the game. YXL Electronic. They have sent us. <laughs> they they reached out to me and they said we we do all kinds of lighting stuff. I said you know my biggest issue is uh, walking out of my RV at night and not being able to see very well. And we have a timber rattler. Buffy. Back up. I'm not moving. Isn't that wild? Look at him. He's beautiful. Don't get any closer. Stop it. I'm not. I don't know why you're freaking out. I'm not going Because he to... could kill us. I, I, I um, don't know why you think I'm going to go up there. Isn't that wild? And talk to that. I, I'm not going anywhere close to that. So they said, hey, we, we, can, we can help you out with that. We have some all-weather string lights. Check that out. So we're going we're gonna to string the all other string lights up across here so we can we can turn them on at night and we won't have to worry about buffy let me get let me get to work on that and this after this evening we'll take a look at these lights and i've actually connected them to alexa so i i've got voice command from inside the rv uh that'll turn those on huh, that's pretty cool i can do it from my phone too with the with the i have a smart switch we'll see it after dark zosi i'm kind of excited about this one a must have in today's chaos this is a smart security camera check this out it actually has two cameras so you get two different views. Let's see what all is included. Some mounting hardware. A mounting bracket. Oh, look at that. Now that is one heck of a security camera right there. Let me dig into this. 
figure out how to mount it, operate it, and then I'll I'll be back. AAA batteries installed. Bright light. So what's neat about this one is the clamp has a magnet. There we go. Now, I'll come back after dark and we'll see how bright that is. But works pretty good. Right there. All right. Better not let Yabby see that. That'll become her new favorite toy. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, that's, that's great. We'll come back after dark and we'll see that. We have a basket mounted. There it is. Ah, I really like that. But you're probably wondering, why is it offset? Well, I plan on putting like a kayak rack over there, but now I can also use this to transport a ladder, lumber, whatever, uh, when I'm working here on the homestead and when we're on the road I can put additional stuff up here and for now I can put my tuk tuk kayak in the basket and it's not laying in the back of the truck but mount ice chests or whatever up here this rack will, will hold it about 300 pounds uh, I'm very very pleased with this and I know you will be too. All right, moving right along. Holy cow, I cannot believe how much light these light, how much light there is. This is like daylight. Wow. So if you're on a job site and, and you need some light, <laughs> I don't I don't think you can go wrong at all. You need a little light. Man! These are like super bright. I, I, it just blows my mind how much light with these, with these drop lights, these, these job side lights. These lights are freaking awesome. Look at how much light there is. I really like this Zosi dual camera setup. Man, this thing is, is awesome. So we can do a fixed mount so that you're looking at one location and then we have the 300 we can rotate that around and I have an app I have the app loaded let's uh, expand this there we go now we have it if we want to rotate the camera Focus on the right side. Up, down. So now we are looking at the camera. We're talking to the camera. And we're recording on the double cam. This thing is really cool. We can look in 
two different directions at the same time. On this one, we're looking at the door to the shop. On this one, we're looking at Dude RV. This is so cool. If it was permanently mounted on the side of my motor home, I could fix it so that one camera looked at the door of the motor home and, a, and the other camera can look a, the, toward the back. I like that there's two different can mount the mount is universal kind of so we can go up with it or you can mount this on the wall and change the way the camera attaches to that. Oh we can also connect uh, to a hard line. So right now it's Wi-Fi and recording to the SD card. We can upload to the cloud with the camera. We can download the SD card or we can record through the Wi-Fi. You can do a hard connection if you have a, a fixed secure CCC TV system. Zosie. I like this camera. You'll like this camera. I know I do. This light, this light is like a, this, this is a true game changer. I don't have to go and turn on the, the, the string, the, the really bright lights that we have. So I can take this anywhere I go. Yeah. That's awesome. I like that. Gonna be keeping this one. Good thing they sent a second one. That that means somebody's gonna have one of these at Dillo Days. This is awesome. How cool is that? <laughs> That's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. I like it. You will too. Brings us to the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. Now, all of these items can be found on Amazon. I am an Amazon influencer, and if you click one of the links that I'm going to provide you, I do earn some money, and that does help support the channel. Your business is most appreciated. And I know the vendors that sponsor these videos would really appreciate you clicking their link. That, that helps their metrics. Even if you don't make a purchase, just clicking and opening up their page. I will provide you with a link in the card above. That link will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV's gear recommendation page. That's an Amazon page. Your business is most appreciated. If you don't want to mess with the Friday's Fine shopping list, down in the, the description below, there'll be a link to that shopping list, as well as individual product links. So if you don't want to go down through the, the playlist, the shopping list, you can just click the direct link, and that'll take you to the product page. Either way! Your business is most appreciated. If you've not already, I would be truly honored if you would consider clicking on the subscribe button. That really helps with the algorithm that is not friendly to small channels. If you're already following along, thank you. I sure appreciate it. Post a comment down there. Tell me how long have you been following the Dude RV Traveling Road Show? And for my patrons, your generosity is so much appreciated. Thank you. You guys rock! Alright, y'all come back now, you hear?